after my first few weeks back in Pakistan, thousands of miles away from the open roads of America, I found myself enveloped in nostalgia. So the past week, I started exploring the spectacular northern areas, went on an excursion to the ninth highest mountain in the world, made some new friends, reconnected with some old ones. Now that I'm back home, I'm craving another trip. Travel has become a drug, an addiction I can't beat. So while I plan another tour through the Himalayas, let's resume our journey back into the archives. Today, we're going through the most famous tourist traps of LA. So far, we've traveled 2,000 miles, going from Portland, Oregon to Las Vegas through Death Valley, then San Diego, the southernmost part of the US West Coast. We spent all day at the beach and the San Diego Zoo, and then we started our journey up north towards LA. There's so much to do in this city, but only travelers know the good spots. Tourists usually Google what to do and these garbage places pop up that are literally designed to rip you off. I've been to LA countless times at this point and I've already told Harris that the best things to do in LA recommendations are mostly letdowns. But it's his first time, so he wanted to experience the disappointment himself. We have a lot of fun days planned ahead, so while we're in LA we've decided to get the average first time tourist experience. We're going in order from this isn't actually that bad to why the fuck did we come here. So fair warning, as the video progresses, you may feel greater levels of disappointment. First up, Beverly Hills, Rodeo Drive. This is actually one of the nicest places in Los Angeles. But unless you're here to buy some overpriced luxury items, the only other thing to do is have a nice city walk. This place is too posh for them to leave junkies lying around, so it's a pleasant vibe all around. This is peak LA. Throw some boobs on a painting you did in third grade and it becomes expensive art. Anyway, if you come here at night on a weekday, you'll miss all the crowds and it's actually a pleasant experience. So four stars. Let me know it's beautiful, expensive, but it's time to go. Next stop, Santa Monica Pier. Next up, Santa Monica Pier. During the day, this place is packed. Weekday, weekend, doesn't matter. The pier is overcrowded and the beaches are too. Some people actually prefer that. But we've already spent our day at the pristine beaches of San Diego. So we're here at night, when most of the overpriced shops are closed and the lights are on. as they hit the shore and feel the breeze and most importantly there are no crowds just some stoners fishermen and a few travelers who have the same idea as us to do here activities wise but we're here for sightseeing not activities so 
So it's been a nice stroll from the pier to Ocean Avenue. Four out of five stars. Now it's time to call it a night. We have some big disappointments to look forward to tomorrow. And Spider-Man picks a fight with me, so that's something. cities. Hey, at least it's not New York, so the roads are nice. We're on our way to the Hollywood Hills. Horace wants to see the famous Hollywood sign. This is one of those times where the journey is 100% better than the destination. This is Hollywood, so it could be a number of things. An altar for some satanic human sacrifice to land a movie role. Could have been done by local hippies. It's possible it might have something to do with native traditions. Or this could be a method of communication by extraterrestrial visitors. Have the Hollywood Hills been visited by aliens? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes. <laughs> In fact, the Hollywood sign originally read Hollywood Land when it was erected in 1923 as an advertisement for a real estate development. And that's literally what it is, a fucking billboard. It's not even as big as they make it seem in the movies. It doesn't even light up at night. I've seen bigger billboards in Texas that said, got caught with weed, call the 420 law office immediately. So, the hike itself, 3 out of 5 stars. I'm from Oregon, so it just doesn't feel right giving this hike a 4. The Hollywood sign, 2 out of 5 stars. The movies, lied. Hey! और इस बाइक के फर्स्ट टाइम है एल में तो हम जरा टूरिस्टी चीज़ें कर रहे हैं आज हॉलीवुड हिल्स का साइन अभी चेक किया है और अब हम जा रहे हैं वॉक ऑफ फेम वॉक ऑफ फेम राइट चेक स्टार्स <laughs> Finally, we're at the worst tourist trap of LA, Hollywood Boxer. Boulevard. Shooting the set for I'm here. Andy, which one's your project going on? Damn! Bye! Salam. Waalaikum salam. Yeah, Malik salam. Yalla yalla soda. Come on, let's go. Don't play with me. Come on. Yeah, where, bud? Come on, I'm back line. What? Back line. Come on. You weak boy. The bus coming down. It's coming to you. Oh, it's a slippery one. 
fight about it. No, I'm good. No, you know. I am so weak. Yes. You're weak. You're weak. You're weak. You're weak. You're weak. stars on the Hollywood Boulevard felt like tracing the footsteps of legends, from the handprints at the TCL Chinese theater to the shimmering stars beneath our feet. Each symbolized the dream realized. Now, I want you to completely disregard the last two sentences I've said. Chad GPT wrote that absolute bullshit to make it feel like it's worth visiting. Probably got that from some ass travel website. It's really none of that. The stars are bought, not awarded. And most of the time you'll find trash or vomit on your favorite movie star's name. Everyone on this street is either hustling or being hustled. People will try and sell you their garbage mixtapes or make you pay to take pictures with the AliExpress versions of your favorite superheroes. The gift shops are extremely overpriced. There is absolutely nothing special about Hollywood Boulevard. It's literally the definition of a tourist trap not commonly known fact, the Hollywood Walk of Fame spans over 15 blocks and features more than 2,600 stars honoring achievements in film, television, music and theatre. So if you want to walk 15 blocks to look at names on the ground while clenching your purse or constantly checking to see if your wallet's still in your pocket, then this is the place to be. Another not so fun and not so known fact about this place, at night, the street transforms into a den for drug addicts, prostitutes and gang members. Do with that information what you will. One out of five stars. That one is just because sometimes it's nice to watch dumb people getting ripped off. <laughs> drew to a close. We found solace in the familiar flavors of home. It was a reminder that no matter how far we traveled, our roots would always anchor us. Now it's time to continue heading north. Next destination, San Francisco.